Hi, welcome to Verse of the Day. My name is Brandon Hathaway, I'm the preacher at the West Side Church of Christ in Owensboro, Kentucky. And I want to thank you for joining me today as we open up the Bible and study the Word of God. Today we're in Acts chapter 27. Acts 27, I'm going to look at verse 37 and verse 44. Um, it all runs together as you read through this chapter as Paul gets on a ship and sails from one place to another trying to make it to where they're going. Um, and then, of course, he warns them. Uh, I believe that starts around verse 9. Um, that they should not go any further because the bad weather's coming in, right? Winter's coming. And and he perceives that it, it's not going to go well. And so they, they didn't take his advice. They get a well, and things start to go bad. And as things go bad, um, they have to get rid of a bunch of the cargo. They are worried about it. You have prisoners who are trying to escape. You have soldiers who are trying to kill the prisoners. Um, but Paul is told that everyone has to survive. Everybody must make it to the land. And so here in verse 37, it says, In all, we were 276 persons on the ship. Um, how many were prisoners? How many soldiers? Um, I'm not sure. But it brings out that there, there's a good number of people here. And I know Paul has been speaking with a, an angel, and Paul has the Holy Spirit. But he's not just concerned about himself. And him and the centurion, right? The centurion had to save some of the prisoners and listen to Paul. Uh, but they're able to save everybody. That's verse 44. It says, in the rest, or verse, go to verse 43. But the centurion wanting to save Paul kept them from their purpose, commanded that those who could swim should jump overboard first and get to land, and the rest some board some parts of the ship. And so it was that all escaped safely to the land. And so the soldiers here were trying to kill them. Centurion helped them by saying those who can swim, jump. The rest of them got stuff to float on and, and paddle back. So um, so all were able to survive here. And it's just, again, amazing story as you read through it. It's it's not a lot of preaching in this, this point. It, it is... Uh, just Paul's journey from one place to another. They stayed there for a little while, but they shipped off. And But the faith that Paul has continuously through it all. That he didn't just focus on himself. He didn't try to escape on his own. He, he didn't just try to get the centurion and him to escape together. But, you know, he gave them words of encouragement. He told them when he was uh, told that, hey, I'm told that we can all survive this, you know. Uh, encouraged them to eat after I believe it said 14 days that they had not ate. And so, just a reminder that during the, the hard times and bad times that we go through, don't let that be a reason that we forsake and abandon other people. Mm -hmm. We're not the only people, but we need to be willing to help others, mm -hmm. even though we're going through hard times also. So, anyways, I want to thank you for joining me. Hope everybody has a blessed day. Lord's willing. Talk to you later.